Lenin, Stalin, and Hitler, The Age of Social Catastrophe by Robert Galletly. The central thesis of Robert Galletly's work, Lenin, Stalin, and Hitler, The Age of Social Catastrophe, is that the advent of Lenin and the Bolshevik Party to power in Russia in 1917 directly led to the nightmare societies of Germany and the Soviet Union in the 1920s, 30s, and beyond. Galletly expertly makes the case that Stalin was the logical successor to Lenin and dismisses the notion that Lenin's ideas, while flawed, were noble and ultimately corrupted by Stalin. It was Lenin who created the atmosphere of paranoia and fear in the Soviet state. It was Lenin who created the concentration camp system. It was Lenin who created the secret police, all in the name of protecting the revolution. Stalin's excesses in the 1930s only built upon those of his predecessor. Hitler's National Socialist Movement in Germany was a mere image of the Soviet Union and also followed Lenin's example in creating a hardened police state. Galletly's thesis is bold and stands as a winning testament against many who still hold the view that Lenin was simply a naive idealist who let the revolution get out of his control. This book is must-reading for any student of modern European history. The Dictators, Hitler's Germany and Stalin's Russia by Richard Overy. Richard Overy's The Dictators, Hitler's Germany, Stalin's Russia, is a wonderful look at two of the most repressive regimes in history and the men who led them. Overy compares how both men maneuvered their way into power in their respective nations. The utopia both men sought is considered heavily throughout this work, the racial state for Hitler and the classless state for Stalin. Overy's comparison of the men, of course, addresses the events that led to their epic showdown in World War II, and this makes for some of the work's most fascinating chapters. For instance, Overy presents the growing arms race between Germany and the USSR in the 1930s as the natural precursor to the Cold War arms race between the USSR and the United States. The relationships between both dictators and their military leaderships is also very illuminating, as both men consider themselves quite adept at military affairs after their service in World War I and the Russian Civil War, respectively. This comparative study of the two regimes is a must-reading for students of modern European history and stands alongside Robert Galletly's Lenin, Stalin, and Hitler, The Age of Social Catastrophe, as one of the great works on the subject.